Welcome back, Cannonites. This week's Cannon Fodder is pretty packed, so let's get to it. This week opens with an interview with author John Jackson Miller, who has written for numerous sci-fi universes and will soon join the plethora of authors that have contributed to the Halo universe. Mr. Miller is contributing stories to both the Halo Fractures anthology novel and the comic anthology Halo Tales from Slipspace. As is often the case, I recommend reading the full interview for yourself to get all the details, but we'll hit the highlights here. As we discussed back when Halo Fractures was properly announced, Mr. Miller has written for a number of sci-fi universes including Star Trek, the new and old Star Wars canon, Mass Effect, and comics for Marvel among others. He also names an original book called Overdraft the Orion Offensive, which he claims Halo fans would enjoy. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely going to have to pick that up over the summer. The interview goes on to discuss Mr. Miller's favorite experiences and stories from the Halo universe, hint hint Greg Bear is name dropped, his experience with comics, and much much more. Needless to say, as an unknowing fan of his work from Mass Effect, I'm looking forward even more to his Halo stories coming out later this year. As I noted before, to get all the details, check out the full interview on Halo Waypoint. Moving forward, we take a look at some of the content coming to the Hogwild update, starting appropriately with some Warthog variants. We start with a look at the Vespin Warthog and the Rally Hog. The Vespin M12 Warthog, named for an arachnid-like creature found in ancient Sangheili temple complexes, features high acceleration rockets and a faster load time. The Hog itself is used by joint UNSC Swords of Sangheilios patrols on the Sangheili homeworld, keeping an eye open for Covenant and created patrols. What I personally find most interesting is that this description would pretty much confirm that the UNSC is using Sangheilios as a major staging area. I mean, it's pretty heavily implied, but here we basically have direct confirmation. Further, as I was reading this, I was reminded of the GameStop Halo 5 commercial from a while back, the one with the UNSC forces being shot down on some Helios, later saved by Locke. I wonder, if 343 were to make that cannon, if it would take place post-Halo 5? It certainly fits. Anyway, next up is the number 550 Scuderia Starspeed M12R Rally Hog. This puppy was developed for extreme racing on New Carthage and features increased speed and heavier armor than the base model. After that, we have the Hybrid Scope, a piece of equipment coming to a number of UNSC weapons. The special sight is the result of ambitious Sangheili artisans combining millennia old Covenant Smart Scope technology with human industrial methods. The Hybrid Scope is patterned after the old Covenant Carbine Holoscope. Now, before moving on, more details on the Hogwild update were revealed in Friday's community update, along with some other interesting details. The first thing to catch my eye were updates to Warzone Firefight bosses, mentioning specifically the inclusion of Mythic Covenant bosses to allow for more gameplay variation. However, the highlight was a little piece provided by Grimm, a message from an ongoing named Hamyap about some interesting post-Halo 5 developments. It's so shiny! We seem to remember things looking pretty bleak there for a while, with me and all the other ongoing spending years just mostly running away from green demons. Or mean boss Flappy Mouse who just want to make sure we get shot at at first. But now, well, now Blue Lady helps us. I mean, it's weird and confusing at all, because she used to help the green guy be mean to us. Then she was mean to the green guy. Then nice to us. I don't know, she's definitely the most confusing Blue Lady I've ever seen. I mean, she's really the only one I've ever seen. But whatevers. Anyway, she must have been feeling bad for us getting kicked around all the time, because now she sends us stuff to eat and things to be builded. Interesting to say the least. Swinging back to our Cannon Fodder article, we get a little more context on the happenings on Balaho. The horizon is a rolling gyre of smoke and steam. Sizzling plasma arcs across the low clouds, illuminating a twisted nightmare of scorched wreckage strewn across the frozen ground. Seeking shelter, an ongoing foreman flees from his post amidst the cackling chatter of a hundred thousand ongoing hard at work. Yes, the factories on Balaho are active again. Following their alliance with Cortana and the Created, the Ongoi were granted nearly limitless resources. Ships empty of life but loaded with advanced technologies arrived. New agricultural support stations appeared in orbit, awaiting eager workers to feed the desperate masses below. Where chaos had once ruled, stability and a semblance of order have returned. And something more. A purpose. With their pressing requirements, food, shelter, medicine met, Balaho's finest designers and crafters have worked day and night tirelessly building their future. From their factories come clever mechanisms and curious cudgels, manufactured with knowledge the Ungoy secretly learned over centuries of oppression and cruelty. The destiny of the Ungoy is unfolding, and this time they will be the elite. Well, maybe. It makes a lot of sense that the Ungoy would be one of the first species to pledge their allegiance to the created and Cortana, given their history. What I find more interesting, though, is that Cortana is upgrading their technology and quality of life. 
Imagine, if 343 were to really take advantage of this development, what sort of enemies the grunts could be in Halo 6 or whatever comes next? I know I've talked in the past about phasing out the Covenant, but if we're talking about making some potential upgrades to their gameplay, I certainly wouldn't mind if some of them stuck around a little longer. Anyway though, that does it for today. The featured universe article this week is the Sangheili Commander Gek Lar. Thanks for joining me as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Canon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.